Hi guys, I'm Shmi. Hello and welcome back to the channel where you join me today at the Quail as part of Monterey Car Week for the unveiling of the car that is behind me. Under the covers is the new Bugatti Cento Diece, a car of which they are only making 10 units at a price tag of 8 million euros plus taxes. This is the global debut, the world premiere, the first ever opportunity to see it. Those covers are going to be pulled back in just a few minutes and we're going to take a good look at the car as well as checking out the history it pays homage and tribute to the eb110 there are a few of them to explore as well so let's do this then the brand new bugatti cento diece Unsurprisingly, the team are making sure that those covers don't get blown off by the wind any earlier than they should do, but the new car is flanked here by two Bugatti Chirons. In front of us, we have the 110 en Bugatti, 110 years of Bugatti, a limited edition they made to celebrate this year, the 110th anniversary, and hence, of course, this car, the Cento Diecci, which literally translates from Italian to 110, Bugatti being founded back in 1909, and also tribute to the EV110. Let's take a very quick look at those before coming back to seeing this being revealed. Here then on the lawn as part of this fantastic event, we have not one, but two EB110s. The yellow car is the EB110 Supersport, next to it, the EB110 GT. Now these were launched back in 1990 on what would have been the 110th birthday of Ettore Bugatti. But this is the car that you will see some design elements which have come through into the new one as well. For example, starting around the front, get ready to spot this small horseshoe with those style aero openings, the headlight style as well, some of the intakes, the lower side, also this iconic piece that you have up here coming around towards the back the fixed rear spoiler and some of the shapes and cues you're going to see in the new car i think we'll come back to have a better look at these later on big change though from the engine in this to the new one more about that to come in a second when we see it being unveiled so let's go over then it is nearly time to check out the cento diecci here it comes cento diecci Look at this, like I was saying, look at that design at the Ladies front. and gentlemen, Standing the, light. the Bugatti 110. We're going to take a proper look at this Let me introduce my colleagues. Here it is then, the brand new Bugatti Cento Diecci that's just been revealed to the world here at the Quail. The first ever chance to see this. And let me show you around towards the back so you can see the view of that and how the design works. But you will instantly spot some of the design elements and cues that come from the EB110. The fixed wing at the rear. We'll talk more about this and actually head over to the EB110s again later on. Those very iconic side intakes. And if I come back around towards the front, have a look down here. That's small horseshoe grille, always a Bugatti wearing a horseshoe grille, but in this case much smaller, like on the older car, and also the intakes that you have around the sides of it. But some cues that come from the more modern cars, the Chiron for example, the central spine that you can spot running up and over the top, a completely new wheel design as well for the car, and this car actually also has some upgrades to the engine. It's in fact a little bit more powerful than the Chiron itself with 1600 horsepower. Now it represents one of the three eras of Bugatti's history. If you go back a little bit to the beginning of it all, 110 years ago, Ettore Bugatti founded the company. Many of those older cars you'll be familiar with, the complete classics. Then the more modern era is the Volkswagen era, the Volkswagen Group era. But in the middle was this period when the company was under Romano Artioli, based out of Campo Galliano in Italy, and they had the EB110. And that's what's now being attributed to, and that's what's being brought into Bugatti's history in a much more stronger and striking way, particularly with the launch of this. And remember, the car that we're looking at here is one of only 10 that are going to be produced at these just 10 at a price tag of 8 million euros plus taxes plus VAT depending where it may be so let me take you around the design then in a little bit more detail the exterior only of this car you can see it has very dark tints not showing the interior at this stage but you've got that horseshoe grill always on the Bugatti's quite different in the way that it's styled you've got the Bugatti emblem there worn above it rather than in the center either side though you've got those dual layers of intakes with extended front splitter look at the way that it points down the sharp edges and also look at the air curtains that you have around the side the way that it's open for airflow to be directed around uh, and you'll see much more of that as we continue around the sides then a little bit higher you have that central piece of the nose which i think gives it more uh, a presence up front as well and then these headlights look at the narrow slip style headlights that it has and also the airflow that is guided up and around and this design of the horizontal plus the line over the top again is something you saw on the eb110s all of those design cues being integrated into the new car 
are. So as we come around towards the side, of course, it's a very different shape. EB110 is much more of a wedge, whereas this is based on the engineering platform and the underpinnings of the Bugatti Chiron. So of course, it is a different shape overall, but it integrates more of these cues. Those lower side intakes, again, we referred to those earlier on. You can see this very dark exposed carbon fiber of the lower sections, or airflow opportunities around here, but also the way the car is sitting as well. You've got these wheel arches just emphasized going around the sides of it too. This sharp line that runs up towards the rear. Have a look at the door mirrors as well, even airflow going through the door mirrors. And of course, the car has some impressive performance. Maybe we can talk about that quickly. All of this, of course, is for cooling of the engine that's back here. Unlike other models, you can't see quite so much of it through that very tinted glass, the almost stormtrooper effect of contrast. But you've got the iconic 8 litre quad turbo W16 engine. In this case, 1,600 horsepower, 1,600 newton meters of torque, and a top speed out of this car of 380 kilometers per hour. That's 236 miles per hour. It will do 0 to 100 in just 200 k, 62 miles, in just 2.4 seconds. It will get from 0 to 200 kilometers per hour, 124 miles per hour, in just 6.1, and it will get to 300 kilometers per hour, which is 186 miles per hour, in just 13.1 seconds. That is clearly very, very quick. Of course, it's got the four-wheel drive system, as known from the other models, a seven-speed dual-clutch gearbox, lots of the latest engineering technology. And I suppose we should talk more about what's going on around here, actually at the rear. You've got the shaped dynamic rear wing, particularly like the way the end plates are worked there, the way it attaches. You do have this swooping wedge-like rear, very different uh, in style to the Chirons that we can see as well. Like the Chirons though, you have this full-width style light. It's not a single tail light all the way across, but it's broken up into the various different sections. And these kind of outside curves go back towards the design of those on the EB110 as well. And then coming down towards the back, look at the aggression of this diffuser. Rather akin, I think, to, say, the Devo that was presented right here 12 months ago. And then down below at the very sides, you have those quad exhaust tailpipes, two on each side, mounted vertically, one above the other, with a lot of openings for the huge, huge tyres that you have mounted on those new wheels, as I mentioned. And let's look at the design of this. The dual tone, you've got the centre lock look going on in the middle, those fins almost, but a completely unique wheel design, almost, I think, maybe reminiscent of 90s styling, perhaps, which, of course, is the era from which the EB110 came. Up above, more intakes, and that piece as well, the three front forward vents and the two rear ones, as well as more uh, airflow opportunities as well to come in and cool the engine. As you can imagine, a lot of requirements from this thing to make sure that it's kept cool, kept in check, especially with the performance that it offers. So we're going all around this in quite a lot of detail. Of course, it's only just been unveiled. I've picked up a few tidbits of information. It's a bright white car. This is also quite interesting when you think that earlier this year, Bugatti unveiled La Voiture Noire. Now, La Voiture Noire, when it was launched, was literally the most expensive new car in the world. This is probably the second most expensive new car in the world, I think, perhaps. And that 8 million euro price tag. So it's a complete opposite. La Voiture Noire is a one of one, which would be only one of them presented completely blacked out. This is presented well, almost completely in white, the opposite. It's a limited series run, a small series, as I call it. And this is really Bugatti going down their new ethos of introducing two new cars per year. Last year was the Chiron Sport, followed later on by the Devo here. This year, La Voiture Noire, followed by this, the Bugatti Cento Dieci. And as you come around the front, it has a menacing look to it, but a very nice balance of some of the older design cues mixed with some of the new ones to create this tribute. And actually, while we're here, I'm going to spin through just to come and show you a little bit more the Chiron. And in particular, this car, the 110 en Bugatti, 110 years of Bugatti, a tribute released at Geneva earlier this year with some very trick optics. So you'll notice the front sections are all exposed carbon, the rear sections are actually satin painted, but the effect is one of a consistent colouring across the car, which is actually a very difficult finish to actually achieve. This car, based on the Chiron Sport, is 18 kilos lighter than the original Bugatti Chiron. The Cento Dieci is two kilos further lighter than that, despite having additional bodywork and the fixed rear wing. But that was made possible with this through the use of some new carbon fiber components, for example, the windshield wipers, some lighter wheels. It also had a new dynamic sport setup in terms of the suspension and dampers, which is also carried through onto the new car, the Cento Dieci, which of course, in Bugatti style, has been fully engineered to be a complete car, a road car, it's a road legal car. But back here, you spot what I was talking about in terms of the more exposed engine and the finish that you can see of it. 1,500 horsepower represented there on top of the right-hand side cover as well. 1,600 newton meters from that W16 and the EB logo, the Ettore Bugatti logo as well. But the big thing about the Chiron was always this C-shape that you have around the doors. Of course, that's no longer present on the Cento Dieci. That's been changed to fit the new bodywork. And this also, by the way, has the Skyview roof mechanism, the two uh, glass panels, one on 
each side of that central spine which is continued through the interior always a big thing about this car having the C shape having the spine having this line running all the way through it and then we come back to this or as you can see it is clearly quite something I should just point out the Cento Dieci logo that you have there written on the number plate at the very back of it as well and then these tail lights I really like the design of the tail lights I think mean, it's a very impressive piece of design of course the entire bodywork is carbon fibre keeping it as lightweight as possible around 2,000 kilos or thereabouts more than capable enough so not exactly a bad power to weight when you think about it 1600 horsepower 2,000 kilos some very nice design the carbon there exposed on the door mirrors the black A pillars that you have as well to give that wraparound windscreen type effect and then down at the front the old style Bugatti logo badge worn there as well the stand now currently just being emptied out I think for some photos and the like but this thing really something to behold so now that we've seen that let's go and take in some of these design cues back on the EB 110s the kind of funny thing is I just realized there is actually a third one just behind but we've got the Super Sport this was the top spec final version which of course is where you have all of these intakes we've been looking at the five uh, intakes there the glass that you have over the back having a fixed spoiler as well some of the shapes back here like I was saying about the tail lights in this consistent style you have also with some openings for airflow to come out at the back the tailpipe mounting position of course the new car has four as opposed to the two back here but again lots of design traits and similarities those side intakes we talked about as well the lower side scoops that you have in for cooling and then around the front the way you have the horizontal style headlights with those openings running up and over as well so lots and lots of similarities particularly the front I think the most iconic place is the mouth of the car the intakes the grills for the cooling right around there then we've got these two other cars I'm actually going to come through just to show you this one EV110 Super Sport in full exposed carbon fiber the full body in the exposed finish looking very very special spot the knacker ducts for cooling as well down there wow that is quite something to be honest the only thing that i think is a completely different style are the wheels the wheels that you see on these cars not represented on the new car uh, in their design but these obviously are kind of missing part of bugatti's history that has now been integrated into i think the entire historical story and in the case of these with the uh, introduction now of the cento diecci paying tribute back to that third part of Bugatti's history. Well then, back to the star of the show, the Cento Diecci revealed here, and what a car it is. I hope you've enjoyed this first opportunity to see it up close and in person, to see it in detail, to go through the different design inspirations and compare it a little bit with the EB110 as well, to see how the car connects back to the history. I think when you see one of these on the road, it is going to absolutely stand out. What a stunning looking thing, particularly in the color scheme as it's presented here, the white, with that very 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 dark exposed carbon fiber i'm very impressed by what we're looking at i think it's a stunning stunning looking car and just like with the launch of the devo last year here at the quail bugatti have once again stolen the complete limelight the star of the show the new cento diecci here at the quail so thank you very much for watching guys i hope you've enjoyed this video first look at the brand new machine right here behind me but that's it for this time i will see you again very very soon cheers